Vice President for the European Commission, uh, responsible for the digital single market, Andrus Ansip, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary for Digital Economy, Silvio Schembri, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers live on TVM2, on behalf of the European Commission and the Maltese Presidency of the Council of the European Union, I welcome you for this Digital Assembly social event, particular a historical milestone for the European Union and all the citizens of this Union as this evening we are witnessing a historical day for all of us consumers since the abolition of the roaming charges as from last midnight. It's been an arduous long journey of negotiations throughout the past decade conducted mainly by the European Commission, recently by the Maltese Presidency of the Council of the EU with the involvement of the European Parliament throughout the last 10 years, which led to this important achievement that now all consumers traveling in the EU28, including Norway, Liechtenstein and Iceland, will no longer pay any surcharge roaming charges while traveling to contact their loved ones, colleagues or family members back home. So uh, this evening, to celebrate this uh, important occasion in the history of the European Union, a remarkable achievement for the Maltese Presidency and a huge accomplishment for us consumers, I would like to uh, signify, signal this important day by um, contacting a friend of mine currently in Brussels through a video call, Antoinette Chefai. Very, very soon she will be with us during this social event live on TVM2. But to better understand the importance of Rome like at home, as it's being uh, termed, these new regulations on the telecom companies, let's watch this news feature. As of today, 15th June 2017, mobile phone users traveling to other countries in the European Union will be able to call text or serve the net at the rates that would be charged when using their mobile services to other networks when in Malta. This means that while traveling in the EU, you can use your mobile phone without fear of having any bill shocks. There will be no more specific roaming surcharges. Mobile phone users in the EU will pay the same price for using their phone when traveling in the EU as they would if they were at home. Roam like at home. Your operator will charge you according to your local mobile tariff plan or deduct your roaming consumption from your domestic allowance. So, if you have unlimited calls and SMS, you will still benefit from unlimited calls and SMS even when roaming in the EU. Today's celebration of the end of roaming charges and the introduction of Rome Like at Home marks the end of a long process of negotiation which involved the European institutions, various market players and the European regulators for electronic communications. For the past decade, the EU has been working to end roaming charges when citizens travel within EU member states. Back in 2007, the EU's first rules known as Euro Tariff, were aimed to address the overcharging in roaming prices by capping maximum prices for phone calls made and received while traveling in the EU. The past 10 years has seen these rules being periodically reviewed with further reductions in price caps and automatic protections against data roaming bill shocks. The roam like at home was one of Malta's priorities during the six-month rotating presidency of the Council of the EU. Last January, all member states agreed on the wholesale rates that operators may charge each other to allow roaming across Europe. Amongst the many positive outcomes we have had during the past six months, by no short measure the end of roaming charges, certainly one outcome that will have significant impact on many Europeans. We are very proud of the fact that this crucial agreement on Jose charges was reached during this presidency, without which consumers would not be able to benefit what we term Rome like at home. The Rome like at home is meant to make communicating while traveling easier. 
and not intended to allow permanent rooming where a customer would take out a subscription in the cheapest possible EU member state and use it to roam in his home country. This is considered as fair use of roaming services. Special rules apply to phone plans with unlimited data or prepaid cards. Consumers will automatically benefit from the Roam Like at Home tariff. However, we suggest that before traveling, consumers should always check with their service provider, especially to ensure that their roaming services are activated on their mobile device and also to inquire what rates they would be charged for making calls, sending SMSs and accessing the Internet since there are different tariff plans on the market. Rome Like at Home is one of Europe's most important accomplishments for consumers and one giant leap towards the digital single market. This summer and each time you travel in the EU, stay in touch with your friends and loved ones as what you pay at home is what you will pay anywhere in the EU. So following the news feature this fitting in this extraordinary venue at the Upper Baraka Gardens in the capital city of Malta, Valletta, the next European capital of culture in 2018, to uh, make news of the new abolishment of these uh, roaming charges. I have a friend of mine in Brussels currently with me. She just, yeah, hopefully will be able to connect with Antoinette Chifai. Hi, good evening, Antoinette. I'm joined by Parliamentary Secretary also, Silvio Schembri, Annabelle Silvio Schembri. How are you, Antoinette? Good evening, Keith. I hope you can hear me well. Good evening, Honorable Schembri. Good evening, distinguished guests in uh, attending this Digital Assembly in Malta. And good evening to our televiewers, TVM2. Hi, good evening, Antoinette. We are very glad to be here sharing this moment with you where we're having this call without roaming charges. Exactly. And I have a friend uh, of mine here. Me, thank you in fact, for connecting with us today. Uh, we are exactly in Schumann. We are exactly next to the building of the European Commission, as, as you can see, and we have the, the building of the Council on the other side. It is exactly where the negotiations under the Maltese presidency have taken place to arrive to this today, the end of the roaming charges. Yes, Antoinette Malta, here we are very proud of this achievement. We are very proud that finally we have achieved this uh, milestone event, I would say, during our presidency whereby not only the Maltese, but all European citizens will benefit from this achievement, we would say that they will call, they will be able to call without incurring roaming charges. So exactly. Um, living in Belgium, I, I can, we actually, we can feel it much more. We named it Rome Like at Home, and this is the true feeling of it. You just mentioned that you're living in, in Brussels, but you're traveling back and forth in Luxembourg, Greece, and other European cities. What do these new rules mean for you? Exactly. Living in Brussels, but having a, a great friend next to me from Greece, different cities, and of course, have the roaming charges, but also a cost which we have to incur. Nowadays, we have, we have no roaming, and therefore we are saving around three euros to four euros a day. Antoinette, you working in another European country, you represent thousands of European citizens that obviously before this very day, they used to incur hefty charges in roaming, in roaming charges. Now, I must also thank the European Commission, the, European Pre the Presidency of Malta for their excellent work in uh, achieving this goal. And obviously, I look very much forward to achieve more and more in this, during this presidency and the next presidency. Obviously, this is what Europe is about. This is what European citizens expect from us. So Antoine, and finally, possibly, I'm intrigued to know. So Antoine, you still there, right? Yes, I'm here. Glad, because I, I know that you're using the 3G for the very first time. Usually, you try to search for a free Wi-Fi connection, right? 
<laughs> exactly, and this is actually part of the joy that we have around here today because we are truly celebrating enhancing connectivity of European citizens. May this is not about saving money only. This is also about having the growing requirements of the digital single market. And this is about being connected. And of course, this is a, a great achievement for the European consumer of digital services. Antoinette, finally, how is what this new, these new rules, how they were received in Brussels following the first free roaming day? <laughs> well, as I just explained, this is for us a great achievement. And I can tell you that we celebrated this with various calls on purpose just to tell that we don't have roaming charges. Thank you so much, Antoinette, for being with us. Thank you so much, Honorable Shkembri. So, Antoinette, enjoy your summer holidays. Now we will save much more money in the roaming charges like all other Europeans, thanks to the abolishment of these roaming charges as from 15 June 2017. So, without further ado, I would like to invite on stage the Vice President of the European Commission, responsible for the digital single market, who uh, led the talks on behalf of the European Commission in the past few months. And today, this is indeed a historical day for the European Union. Mr. Ansif, kindly take the floor. Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate all of us, all the European citizens. One long journey is over. No roaming surcharges anymore. We started with this process already in the year 2007. But in the very beginning, this process wasn't too rapid. But last May, we were able to cut to those roaming surcharges for 75%. Maybe this was the first summer for European citizens uh, when they were uh, traveling in some other countries uh, when they were not afraid to use their mobile devices anymore. Now, thanks to Maltese presidency, we were able to abolish those roaming surcharges totally. I would like to cordially thank all the people involved. This is a great achievement for the European Union. Thank you, Malta. Let's enjoy the roam like at home. Thank you so much, Vice, Commission, Vice President of the European Commission, Andrus Ansip, responsible for the, the dig digital single market. And indeed, these new rules are uh, part of the important step towards the creation of the digital single market. He acknowledged the, the work uh, done by the Maltese Presidency throughout the past six months. And to share some insights on this work, I would like to invite now Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, newly appointed, not even a week in office, Silvio Schembri. Commissioner Ansip, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I am welcoming you here at the Upper Baraka Gardens for the celebration of a landmark achievement for the European Union and more importantly for its citizens. The end of roaming charges marks not only an important point within our presidency but also a watershed moment in the EU's history. In a time where many were wondering whether we actually need an EU at all, the results achieved on this file serve as a magnificent counter-argument whilst also reminding us of what the EU is all about. The European Union is about the creation of a single market. The EU is about removing borders for the four freedoms to truly operate. But more importantly, the EU is about you, the citizen. If we do not put the citizen at heart of the European project, we will not go far. Issues like roaming show us the wisdom of such an approach. As a presidency, we have chosen the term, the team reunion for our presidency. For us, reunion means 
that the current way of doing business needed to be altered. In other words, we needed a reset button. I am proud to say that on many areas in the digital sphere, we have managed to achieve such a goal. From roaming to Wi-Fi for EU, to geo-blocking and portability of rights, we have taken a great step forward in order to build a truly digital single market for the benefit of our consumers. The beauty of the EU is that no institution can work alone. In this regard, our success as a presidency surely could not be achieved without the proactive collaboration and help of our partners' institution, the European Parliament and the Commission. In this regard, I would like to particularly thank the following people, Commissioner Ansip for, and his team, Maya Petra Kumpula Natri as Rapporteur of the file. We had tough but open negotiations between all parties involved, and you were instrumental in achieving this deal. The Slovak Presidency, for all the work that it did on the file. Ambassador Neil Kerr, for leading our negotiating team, and my predecessor, Dr. Emmanuel Maria, for his sterling work. Ladies and gentlemen, my final word of thanks goes to you gathered here today. As stakeholders and representatives of civil society, you prodded us to move forward. You praised us when praise was due, but more importantly, you kept us in check when needed. Together, we achieved something that is benefit for all, and I am truly grateful for all your contributions. Thank you all present here. Thank you. Honorable Parliamentary Secretary for Digital Economy, Silvio Scambri, Vice President Andrus Ansip, thank you so much for your thoughtful insights this evening. Distinguished gathering, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us on behalf of the European Commission and the Maltese Presidency of the Council of the European Union, which will end, unfortunately, within the next two weeks, but it will remain in the history books for this important achievement, the end of the roaming charges on 15th June 2017. Thank you so much, all of you watching us live on TVM2. Now all the distinguished guests would like to invite them to enjoy a spectacular fireworks display overlooking the amazing Grand Harbor of Malta. Thank you so much. Good night. Enjoy the rest of the evening.